Hey, what's up, PNW fans? Thanks for joining us here at the PNW headquarters for another uh, review. Today we're doing another subscription box review. Um, it seemed like we kind of got pigeonholed in doing those reviews, and now we've done a, a ton of them. And so we just keep getting set new boxes to show you guys. Uh, today we seem to be doing a follow-up of a review uh, that we've already previously done. Um, we, if you remember a really old review of ours, we did a review of what was called the Green Bait Box. And right here, that's the link for that. Now, the Green Bait Box wasn't great. We weren't big fans of it, and it actually ranked really, really low in our Dank Mail review. So, um, we, when we got this and we realized that this seems to be a rebooted version of the Green Bait Box, we weren't sure what to do. But... Um, we like giving everybody second chances, and they have rebranded, so we're going to show you a brand new box from the Canabate box. When you get it, it comes in white packaging. It's pretty discreet. Uh, doesn't say anything about being a cannabis company, uh, from who it's being shipped from. So no worries about discretion here. Uh, everything's coming, and you don't have to worry that your mailman knows that you're about to blaze up. You open this up, and you have the Canabate box logo as a stamp here um it's actually kind of poorly done it's hard to read uh but at least they did some sort of branding on their boxes we got some packaging cardboard or paper packaging here that we're just going to toss out of the way and then immediately you see a pop top um herb holder just like you would probably get if you were picking up a quarter gram from your local dispensary um if you're ordering these, I, I'm sure you probably have your own st stash jars already, so I feel like this might have been kind of not the best uh, choice to go in. Uh, like always, we're going to set the glass off to the side for last. Uh, what else do we have in here? Now we have some more clear cyclone tubes. Um, if you know us, we love our tubes, and we've actually become very big fans of cyclones. They're cellulose papers. They're completely clear. Uh, some are flavored. Some aren't. Uh, this one is a grape flavored, so I don't know about that one. Uh, but hell, we're gonna smoke it because we like our we like our cyclones. Uh, the, here is a dube tube. Uh, it's an actual dube tubes dube tube, which I haven't seen in a while. Actually, uh, there's so many imitators out there nowadays, and they're all just readily available that it's very rare that you actually see an actual dube tube uh, brand with their patented seal here. That. Uh, when that goes in, no smell comes out, and they're one of the better dupe tubes if you actually are not having your own uh, joint cases already. Um, this is branded the Roach Hotels, and, the, the, you know, this is, you, you've smoked half your joint, you drop it in here and seal that off, and you put it in your pocket, and you don't have to worry about the fact that you smell like weed, or burn weed even, which is even worse. Moving on, what do we got here? This is Baked Cleaner from Canna Baked Box. Uh, run warm water through your piece, add the contents of the pouch, and two ounces of ISO, and then shake. So this is just grit. Um, it says bait cleaner, but it doesn't actually look like a cleaner. It looks like this is an abrasive that you add to your ISO. Give it a shake like you were adding salt to your ISO. Um, and then, uh, I don't know what it is. Let's see, what does it say on the back here? Incredible substitute for salt. Uh, vegan friendly. It says, I don't know what it means by neutralizing ISO, but it says it neutralizes ISO alcohol and works with 70% like a dream. Um, and yeah, it's called just bait cleaner. Um, I don't know what to think about this stuff, guys. Um, I, they don't say what it is, and I, I think I'd rather stick with my weed wipes. And if you don't know what weed wipes are, that's a link right there. Check them out. All right, moving on, we got some slaps uh, that says drop pad, and it's got an interesting little design on it. Uh, we have another drop pad slap in white. Uh, oh, that's cool. Hang on, I'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is just a random cannabis fax card. It just gives, It's just some random stuff about weed. the weed, is, like the history of weed. Um, we got a lighter that's got Kegger Can, Lil John, and Cowboy Slim on it. Uh, you know, Trailer Park Boys. Uh, it, it's a re it's a clipper lighter, but it's a, uh, it's a clipper that wants to be a bit, and I like my clipper lighters. Like 
That's a clipper lighter. It's round. The striker comes out. It's a joint tamper and you can replace that. It's refillable. This is none of those. So I love clipper, but that's a crappy clipper and they should have gone with this. That's a clipper lighter. Moving on to, again, now the slaps, these are neat. Uh, we have, let's see, what is this? Pot pocket, then I'm pretty, I believe that's a, a stash, like pouch. Uh, Canabake one, get lit with Canabake box. Another get lit with Canabake box. Another get lit with Canabake box. Um, kind of repetitive. And then the Canabake box sticker, which is the stamp on the inside. Now, instead of this crappy stamp that you could barely read, that's what they should have just stuck on the inside of the box rather than giving it to you as a slap. Um, it's, I've seen infinitely better. You can see what's on my slap mirror and all, I, don't, I don't know if any of these slaps really are gonna go up there. Um, the more I'm going through this, the more, I mean, I don't like to, be, to like talk down about any company at all. I want all of us to succeed in this industry. But there are times when people need to step up. They need to look at their competition, see what they're doing and step up and this is one of those times. Uh, another slap and bend from this end. Um, I'm assuming this is for, to roll joints on. It's a little joint rolling tray. It's flexible so you can kind of squeeze it and, create, and make a funnel and do your thing. Um, other boxes come with a real joint rolling tray. So again, it's just one of those moments where they just kind of miss the mark. Um, we got some raw papers and that's kind of nice. Um, what's this, what's this? 10 step can of bake box can of butter. They give you a recipe card on how to make can of butter. Um, very quick read through is that this is a super, 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 super basic butter recipe. And yeah, go ahead and use this butter recipe if you don't mind tasting the weed in your butter. But from what I can tell, this wouldn't, this recipe in particular is just a basic one and wouldn't actually remove any of that cannabis flavor from your butter. Um, all right, so that was all of the smalls that come in there. And before I move on, uh, there's one more thing to show you. Uh, this is a munchie that they include. Um, we've gotten munchies in some of the boxes before. Some are better thought out than others. Uh, we've gotten potato sticks in one. And it, eh, okay, I don't eat those. So I feel like that was a really bad munchie choice. Uh, and then in other ones, we've gotten like these candies that were sugar-free and they were de designed to generate saliva for when you have cotton mouth. And I think that was a really well thought out one. So um, some kind of bounce back and forth and you can th think of munchies of what you will. Uh, the Canabake box guys included Pop Rocks. Okay, I'm not 12. These are not fun for me anymore. Um, Whatever you think about munchies, uh, they're still, they, I'm, I'm not 12. Not only that, this is old. Um, I don't know how old. It is an individual package that's not packaged for individual sales. So there's no dates on here. There's no manufacturing information. And when you flex this, like right here, Pop Rocks are broken up in small little chunks. I don't know if you heard that but that literally snapped when I broke it apart because it's so old that the Pop Rocks have been compressed into a solid sheet and stuck together. So um, I can't even trust to eat these because I have no idea how old this is. So no matter what you think about the munchies, um, I personally have my own personal issues with them, but munchies, they happen. So whatever you think about them, including in a subscription box, an old pack that's solid as a rock and makes me feel like I'm 12, that's a bad choice. All right, so let's get into the last few things of this box. And these are the stuff that I actually really enjoyed. Um, so first off, if you don't know what this is, this is really cool. Let me show it to you. This is like the epitome of the business card. This is what you want when you really want to get someone's attention. It's got nice branding on a sleeve. It's got some contact information. They kind of missed the mark a little bit. They should have had a phone number here too. But bam, check that out. Grinder card made of metal. It's nice. It's thick. It's, it flexes a little bit, but if you're holding it here and you're shaving your weed over the cheese grater portion of it, it's not going to bend all that easy. Be careful. It will bend. Don't just ream on this, but holding it and doing that, it'll shave. It'll just grind your weed right up. It's great. 
Uh, I have a B reel from Cypress Hill. I've got a grinder card from him, and uh, uh, that's in my wallet. It doesn't go anywhere, or I should say, I never leave home without it. Um, I never have to worry about grinding my weed. So these are really neat, and if you haven't come across a grinder card, I suggest you try to find one. Um, Next off, you you saw that pot pocket sticker, and uh, we actually have a pot pocket. And when I saw this, I didn't know what they were. Um, now that I do, I think it's really neat. Um, get, let me show you this here. It's made out of really lightweight wood. You hear that? It feels like balsa almost, um, like the wood that you would make a wooden airplane model out of. Um, it's wood burned with their logo. And then if you check this out, watch that. See how that separates a little bit and it's flexing? So there's a string here. So there's holes drilled on both sides and it comes through and they knot on both ends. And what that does is create an envelope or a pot pocket. Uh, roll up a couple of joints, throw one in each uh, area, let that close up and you've got a nice wooden solid case to carry a couple of joints. Throw it in your backpack, bam, off to the woods you go and you're good to go. So, Pop Pocket, uh, this is something that we look for as a stoner in Pinot Wonderland. Uh, when we're out on our outdoor adventures, we want to uh, have something that'll protect our joints and stuff. So, we're definitely going to give this a try out in the woods and see how it works. All right, we move this out of the way, and then we're going to talk about this. This is a unique thing. Um, we all know what a dugout is. Um, if you don't know what a dugout is, introducing a dugout. Now, this is the dugout from Woody Box. And uh, what a dugout is, it's a wooden container with holes dug out, hence dugout. Comes with a single hitter that is on a spring inside, so you open that case, that springs up, you pull it out, you've got a hole here to store some weed in, or a joint if you want to. Single hitter, small little anodized uh, metal pipe from Reut. Um, I don't like these little metal pipes personally. Um, I would probably find a glass one to throw in there instead, but it's a nice little single hitter. Really nice about it is this plunger on the end. Take your hit, plunge out, and it just comes right out. No more having to carry a piece or worry about having to find a stick or something to dig your bowl out. So that's the dugout. Now, that's kind of standard for a dugout, but check this out. This is where the uniqueness comes from. They, were, they kindly provided you with a grinder card. Um, you just saw the other grinder card that we showed you, and uh, at first I thought this was actually connected to this and that you had to like grind connected, but check this. It's slightly um, lift right there. Get your fingernail up under there, and it comes off a little, see that right there? That holds it in place through the holes. You got one, two magnets right there. And that is pretty neat. And last but not least, this is what I thought was really unique about it. Flip that around. Hold that over right here. Oh, sorry. You get that. That little thing down here holds it up. And now you can grind directly over a hole. You hold that in better light here. Yeah. See that hole right there? Grind directly over your hole, drop your weed right into your, your carrying case right there. And then you just flip that around. Make sure that it's in the right spot. It's locked over the notch and check it out. Holes blocked and none of your weed falls out. Like I said, this was a really unique tool. Um, I've seen dugouts before. I've never seen a dugout of this design and this is really, really neat. All right, let's get to the last thing in this box. All of the subscription boxes come with a glass piece in them uh, as long as you haven't done the most basic subscription level. Uh, these guys, this is $29 a month uh, plus shipping. So with shipping, I'm assuming it comes out to somewhere between $32 and $35 a month, which puts them on slightly the more expensive side of things, but it's not too, too bad. Um, what, so for $29 a month with shipping, so like I said, probably about $35, what you get is a basic spoon. Now, I'm colorblind as shit, so I had to ask the color of this because it actually looked green to me. But this here apparently is a like peachy orange, maybe pink salmon ish color with then some red rope through it. And that red's actually twisted cane, so that's kind of neat. Um, I was paying attention to that, and we get a lot of basic spoons in these. And this has a rope of, like I said, if you look real close, it's actually twisted cane wrapped inside of. Uh, or that's in this glass that they've been blown the spoon out of. So it's a nice spoon. It's pretty. Um, not the thinnest, but not the thickest we've ever seen, but not too bad. You'd probably see this in a head shop for probably about 20 bucks. 
Um, maybe 30 on some of the higher end shops, but not too bad. So there you have it. That's everything that comes in the Canabake box. Uh, like I said, I think these guys are a rebirth of the Green Bake box. And from what I've seen of some of the things that are inside there, um, it kind of confirms that. Uh, on the other hand, they have come across with some very unique things. The pipe's not bad. This pot pocket's really neat. This, uh, the woody box, that's fantastic. And uh, uh, the grinder card, that's the other thing. You know, those four things there are worth $30 alone, if not more. Everything else in the box just becomes gravy. So I've talked some shit a little bit about some of the things that they chose to include in this. It's not going to get an eight or higher and actually earn the PNW badge of approval, but it is definitely going to break the seven mark, and which means it's not a bad box. It just doesn't quite live up to that level of connoisseur that we expect and have seen in some of these other boxes. Thanks for joining us here in the PNW headquarters. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Right here, take a look at that link. That's the link to our Dank Mail article. It's the 2.0 two, uh, 2 version. So we've got a bunch of uh, subscription boxes uh, compared in that article, including the Green Bay box. Um, we're working on 3.0. So if you have a subscription box that you wanna have included in that, get a hold of us right there. Click that red subscribe button so you can see the future reviews that are coming up. Don't forget, head to pnwcr.com. That's where all of our reviews are, some growth journals, and a whole lot more. Thanks for joining us. We, we appreciate all of your support, and we will catch you next time.